we had a fire in our little burn pit. And now I've got black gold in there. Fuel for the gasifier. Ooh, boy, that's some good-looking charcoal. So this is a five-gallon steel pail. And just from the, the campfire thing that we did the other night, um, I got about a little... About, about half of the bucket full of charcoal. This was just the leftover charcoal that was in the fire pit. I uh, just added water to douse it so that it would preserve the charcoal. And I came out the next day and emptied it out and let it dry out. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I want to dump this into my gasifier because I haven't added any since the other night when I ran it for about 40 minutes. And I want to see if this will top it off. I think it will. I think it's plenty to top it off. So I'll try it out and see. All right. So I have really bad visual spatial skills, but I was able to basically fill it up just below the nozzle is kind of where I fill it to. Um, and I still had some left over. Uh, again, I'm, I'm horrible with guesstimation, but I'd say that's probably a half gallon of maybe a quarter, quarter, I don't know third gallon whatever of uh of charcoal left and i was able to fill it up so just the waste charcoal from my burn pit uh is going to give me you know 30 40 minutes of runtime on my generator and uh eventually i'd like to do much more thorough testing as far as charcoal consumption based on the load that it's running on the generator you know if i can get some like heaters or something to provide a consistent load of you know 1500 watts 3000 watts whatever <clears throat> and then basically you know know that at 1500 watts it consumes x amount of charcoal you know in, in 30 minutes in you know 30 minutes at 2000 watts it's this much and 3000 watts and whatever uh just so that i can have a better idea of when i'm you know storing the charcoal producing the charcoal all of that like how much i need uh for a particular expected load um, with my generator <clears throat> and then uh, I'm gonna be you know work on my other gasifier because this thing only runs for about 30 minutes at with with the generator just kind of chugging along at normal operating rpm um, without you know before it starts getting too hot for the plastic output pipe um, I do I'm, I'm in the process of building a cooler uh, that's gonna come off and be like a little s shape here and uh, I can directly connect it to this output pipe so then the main weakness is going to be this RTV here that's sealing up the really garbage weld that I did uh, there through that thin walled steel um, <clears throat> but if I can get it uh, cooled down at least I could you know run it for maybe I don't know maybe an hour I'd have to see um, run it for an hour before it gets the rest of it gets way too hot the um the water drip also i need to relocate that a little bit because that will get way too hot by that point um but if i can do that then i can get a better idea of charcoal consumption um, at different loads and uh be a little bit more scientific with it but yeah that's kind of cool to think that you know just the the leftover charcoal from the burn pit is going to give me you know 30 minutes ish of time on the generator and uh you know, it's pretty cool to be able to look at this as engine fuel now and uh, the possibilities of that for self-sustainability in, in different situations. So I just wanted to show that the scrap junk leftover uh, charcoal could be put to use.